Last year, the same group that tried to show an abortion procedure on a jumbotron at the Alamo was back today. No jumbotron, instead a large display with graphic photos of aborted fetuses set up in Alamo Plaza. As Jesse Degriato reports, several pro-life groups were behind today's so-called Genocide Awareness Project. Our camera saw most people apparently ignoring what was hard to miss. A display bearing images too graphic to broadcast of aborted fetuses. We should be disturbed and disgusted when we see something as horrible as that. That's the point, she says. Her group and others joined with Created Equal, the same organization that last year wanted to show an abortion on a jumbotron. The idea was scrubbed after a verbal standoff with compliance officers over a city ordinance prohibiting digitally lit signs in historical districts. Thankfully, as as Americans, we can we can speak the truth and we can show the truth of what's happening to the very youngest of our kind. Again, many visitors chose to walk by without stopping, not even to voice their opinion. Yet some did say they had no problem with the exhibit. No, no, I think people will be wake up to it. A lot of people just have their head in the sand. But others say this has no place on sacred ground that draws thousands of visitors from all over the world. Because there's a lot of kids walking around. I don't think they want to see aborted fetuses. A view shared by NARAL, the National Abortion Rights Action League, that says protesters have no regard for the effect these images have on children and use them in high traffic areas. We're here because abortion's here, and so wherever there's Americans is where we want to be. Jesse Degollado, KSAT 12 News.